Hey guys, so today was a semi-interesting day. I didn't start out as badly as the last few have. I, I woke up at a semi-decent hour. I mean, 1 p.m., it's not that bad. We have a really night schedule around here. But I woke up and my stomach wasn't upset, which was a plus, and I felt rested. And we were gonna get things accomplished today, which we went to Lowe's today. We got lumber to help fix the house. It was great. I got to get out of the house and I got to go places and I got to do things and I got to test my strength by picking up the lumber. I'm still pretty weak, but we're, we're just gonna let that slide. But <clears throat> I got to get out of the house with my dad and I got to hang out with him and listen to music. And even though when he left here, he was still somewhat in a bad mood, he still, he still kind of yelled a little bit. He got it out, we got in the car, listened to music, and it was great just walking around with him and learning a few things. Even though math and lumber sizes still confuses me, it was nice having him there and at least to learn a little bit about it. But from there, we had to go to my dad's work, or at least a storage facility for my dad's work, and pick up a few things that had been there from the well, not really a transition. It was more of they were remodeling the building and they had to remove everything and put it in their storage facility. And we got to go there and look around. So much stuff was there. And I thought that we were pack rats here, but wow. There was barely any place to turn there. And digging through the boxes was a lot of work. Thankfully, we found the boxes that he had put in there, and he had put notes on what exactly was in each box. That helped out a lot, because digging through all that stuff, I was sure there were spiders somewhere. And it was cold, but at the same time, I don't take chances, especially where spiders are. Oh my god, I can't do it. <clears throat> but again, we got to go to the store after that, and it was just nice hanging out with him. For so long in my life, me and my dad have been at odds. We've been... We don't see much eye to eye, except on the things around here, the things that need to improve and things when it comes to my mom, we don't see eye to eye. He doesn't understand my writing or my obsession with photography. He, he doesn't understand me doing YouTube, my other channel, gaming. He doesn't understand that and that's okay. Uh, he, he hasn't entirely been supportive, as I said, because he doesn't understand it, but at the same time, he doesn't tell me to stop doing it. And with my writing, he somewhat understands, he somewhat doesn't, but he's always told me not to have my head in the clouds, that I need to be grounded. But for me, there's nothing better than being a dreamer. There's nothing better than coming home and either laying in bed or sitting back, listening to music, and just losing yourself in a place. Being able to just relax and follow a storyline or even roleplay online that I did for years upon years and that I still do. It's a lot of fun, and it's, oh, it's something that I just, I love to do. I can't explain it. I get to lose myself in these places, and everything that I'm facing in my life disappears, and it makes it easier. But it's made me appreciate my dad even more, him being here, because he's been the buffer between me and my mom. He's been my protector and my savior, and I've come to realize how much I love and care for him. That I'm just, I'm thankful he's still here. I'm thankful for absolutely everything with him. And maybe one day I'll, he'll understand and he'll be proud. But until then, I at least still have my mom. And she's been supportive and understanding and encouraging. And I have my friends. So I really, I have nothing to complain about today. It was a wonderful day. But it is almost 3 o'clock. I've got a raging headache from all the sugar I've ingested today. Sugar upon sugar. That really hurts. But I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to lay down. I'm going to go let the cat in who's clawing at my window. I, I hear you. And then I'm going to go to bed. But I thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for stopping by and listening. And I hope in some way this helps you listen to me ramble on about nothing. But I hope it helps you, and I hope that you've had a great day. And if not, hang in there, because it does get better. I promise you. Have a good night, guys.